Welcome once again to Access Central TV. I am Robin Hackett and I am here this evening with the Ranch Hands. As you can see, I got my cowboy boots on. Looking good. So it's appropriate, right? We yes. all have our cowboy Everyone, boots Everyone, let me see actually. your cowboy boots. Whoa, like get that. this shot here. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> so Ranch Hands, tell me about the Ranch Hands, who the Ranch Hands are, how they got started, okay. where, when, and why. Uh, actually, the Ranch Hands started uh, with Chris and I. And, uh, and it's actually still Chris and I, uh, okay. but uh, we're both kind of a songwriting team and uh, we put together a, a group, I guess around last year, and uh, did some touring in Europe and uh, I've come back to kind of put together our first real full-blown CD. Okay. All right. Actually, before we even get started, why don't you tell me who you are, your name and so forth. And I'm, I'm Chris. And your last name, do you want to? Oh, you want last names yeah, too? Yeah, last names. aren't Come about on, formalities. <laughs> Uh, Chris Tedesco. Okay. And I'm Jamie Garner. And I'm Tim Beatty. Hi, Tim. How are right. you doing? I'm good. <laughs> so, um, we're here actually at a studio in Brooklyn. Yes. And, um... Excello. Excello, Excello it's studio. called. A little plug there. Plug <laughs> Red Knot's a great place. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Cool, it is. cool. Tim, I love your cowboy hat. It's Jamie's, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it oh, back to New York when I get on the plane. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna wear it back to Nashville. Yes. Okay. Actually, steal. Tim is here from Nashville. Um, he's up here, and he's the producer. Yes. For the Ranch Hands. But I, I mean, I just moved to Nashville like yeah. the end of December. I've been here for nine years in New York. Oh, okay. Things, all so right, all right. Fortunately, these guys asked me to help them out on their records. So. Okay. And how did you guys hook up with Tim? How did that? Tim happen? and I grew up ten miles from each other. A uh, couple of cornfields split between us, and uh, I saw Tim play for the first time about about ten years ago, and uh, actually was inspired enough then to actually pick up the harmonica and take it seriously and really become a harp player. I had played since I was about seven or eight years old, but you know, just kind of right. honking around. But uh, I saw Tim play, and I knew right then that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a harp player, and. As fortune would have it, uh, you know, I moved to New York City, found out Tim was out here, and I'm like, wow. I've got to hook up with this guy. So I went out and like, hey man, can you give me a couple of lessons? You know, <laughs> and uh, that's what I did, and and I started playing with him and uh, stealing as many licks as I could, you know, and uh, cool, and uh, then you know, and then they they I'm very honored to be working on the record. Oh, it's that's really, great. Uh, that's it's, really it's, great. It's 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 a great thing. Okay, um, how did the two of you hook up and start writing? Uh, I was playing in uh, kind of like the house band at a place called Denim and Diamonds and it was a place that Jamie was uh, uh, DJing at and it was a huge country country music nightclub that was right right in midtown Manhattan Okay. and uh, kind of from there kind of developed a friendship and you know checked each other out and started writing and it really clicked quick. I remember yeah. the first day we wrote together you know you you get together, you write some stuff, and, and then you go home and you see what you bring to the table the next time. And we were amazed that, like, you know, ah. next time we got together, there was just, you know, a song and a half finished. And uh, one of them, well, I think one of our first real, like, combined efforts is going to be on this CD called uh, Everyone But You. That's right. Oh, okay. Uh, one of the right. first tunes right. we wrote together. Um, how many years ago was that? Two. That's three, actually. Maybe three. Yeah, three. Very time good. Time flies. Yeah, time does fly. Um, I know the last time that I spoke with Jamie, you guys were getting ready to go on tour. Were you involved in that as well? Was that in Europe or was that? That was in Europe. Yeah. We went, went, to, Europe. Uh, we f went to France and then to uh, Spain and Italy and Switzerland. Wow. And uh, we had a ball. Tell cool. me yeah. more about that because I'm curious about, I mean, your music. What would you call your music? What genre is it? It's country. It, yeah, it's, it's country. country. No, it's so, a new country. You know, a lot of people would call it, but uh, it's country music, and that's what we went over there as a country band. From, I am from, just so curious about this. Is there, are there a lot of country fans? Uh, no, there amazed. are. It's it's amazing. Really? I mean, they, they they came out of the woodwork. It was really cool, um, and they were the type of crowds that came to really pay attention and listen, and they were really into the music. And after our gigs, they would come up and be like. Wanting to like talk and uh, you know talk about the music and about their musical heroes and we were swapping stories and they all spoke English and we were, I mean cause, oh. of course this guy was uh, smart and learned how to speak Spanish before we went. <laughs> I on the other hand did not so I, I spoke you know like you make it sound like I learned it in a week. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know it was really cool. Yeah yeah we, we we got we got very lucky we we hit some great places had some great promoters and uh, we'll be going back. 
Very we'll good. Very there. good. Yeah. Um, so, Tim, tell me a little bit about. I mean, you guys are going to be finishing the CD soon. So, what are you? What are you guys going to do with it? Well, hopefully, a lot. I mean, we'll have to come back in April and, and finish everything up. Um, and I hope it does really well. I think the material is great. I think the players that we got together to play on it are great. And, right. and I, I expect it to do very well. Okay. All right. That sounds yeah. great. So you're you're actually going to shop it in Nashville, right? Well, we'll shop it wherever. We'll. Well, it's not even. It'll be get shopped to whoever. I mean, anybody who's willing to listen to it, I would imagine. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be given a copy of it. So. Okay. It's not like that. We're going to go to Nashville and like, shop it. It's like you know. Here, do you like this? <laughs> it's got that kind of thing. I mean, it's really, you know, it's about the music, and we work hard on it, and uh, it's not finished, and we have a lot of uh, a lot of work to do yet. And, okay. But I think it's going to be very good. Yeah. Um, and how long have you been recording this particular project? Six days. Six days? <laughs> From, yeah. Six 12-hour 12, 12 days. Six 12-hour yeah. days. Six oh, my God. Days. So you're doing this, like, start to finish. Like From in, start to finish, top to bottom. We're doing we're doing pre-production at like we arrange it we get it how we want it and then we track the drums like it's wow that's great that's yeah. really cool